Right, just down there, 100 metres, is the Austrian border and we're heading in that direction towards Vienna and um, I'm coming out metal detectors here, look at this pool down there, you can see it's absolutely throwing it down uh, but I've come for one reason, because I know from experience uh, over the years I've been travelling from Bratislava in Slovakia to, to Vienna, I know from experience that um, uh, that the weather can differ so much in a one hour journey because that's how long it takes to get from Bratislava to Vienna uh, and very often it's absolutely throwing it down here and when you get to Vienna it's quite sunny and warm and dry even, no sign of rain and vice versa, it can be the other way too uh, and uh, in that direction there's a range of mountains called the Carpathians uh, and that I'm absolutely sure has something to do that's uh, um, in the direction of Bratislava uh, that has something to do with the weather patterns uh, and why, why the differences are so varied between uh, Austria and Slovakia so I'm just going to drive to the site now 20 minutes over there and I'm going to turn on you can already see it's brighter in that direction uh, and I'm hoping that it's going to be dry and uh, different it's not far from here uh, maybe it's not so different in uh, the place where I'm going, but certainly in Vienna it will be different. So let's have a look when we get there.